Ungolian is a confusing creature. She remains one of the most famous dark forces in Tolkien's Legendarium, and one of the most mysterious. Her origins are incredibly difficult to pin down, but there seems to be two prevalent theories. The first is that she belongs to the Ainur, which consists of the Valar and the Maya, the Valar being more powerful than the Maya. I think it's best to think of the Valar as essentially gods, but technically they were created by Iluvatar, who is the god of Tolkien's Legendarium, but Ungoliant was thought to have possibly been part of the Ainur but corrupted long ago. The second theory, as proposed by the Valar, was that she came from beyond Arda, that's the world Middle-earth and Aman are on, from the darkness that lay there. Ungolian was an evil spirit that took the form of a giant spider, and most importantly, was an ally of Melkor. After Melkor was defeated by the Lords of the West and the Elves, he was imprisoned in the halls of Mandos in Valinor, where the Valar dwelled. Meanwhile, Ungolian fled to the south, but slowly made her way to Aman, the realm of the Valar. She eventually stopped there and made her home in a ravine known as Avanthar, where she assumed the form of a giant monstrous spider and sucked up all the light in the region. For although she hated light, she was ever hungry for it. Eventually Melkor, or now as he was known, Morgoth, escaped and fled to Aman, speaking with Ungoliant and convincing her to join him once again, hoping she could assist him in destroying the two trees of Valinor. At first she wasn't interested, but he offered to satisfy her hunger with his own hands, and she accepted. Ungoliant and Morgoth travelled through Arda and eventually reached the base of Hyal Menthia. Ungoliant used her webs to climb to the summit with Morgoth, and once overlooking Valinor, she created a ladder using her webs, and the two entered Valinor. From here they reached the two trees of Valinor, and Morgoth slew them with his spear. Ungoliant drank the blood-like sap and grew even stronger. She then drained the wells of Varda and grew so hideous she even scared Morgoth. The two then fled to Helcaraxe to escape the Valar. Here Ungoliant demanded that Morgoth satisfy her hunger, and he offered her what was in his left hand. She demanded he also give her what was in his right, but he refused, touting that she no longer had any use to him. She then trapped him in one of her webs and attempted to strangle him, causing him to let out a cry so great that it alerted the Balrogs of Angband, Morgoth's first great fortress in the north, and they lay waste to her webs using their great fire, and then she fled. From here she fled to a region known as Beleriand, in Middle-earth, she attempted to enter the forest of Neldoreth, but was stopped by a Sindar and elven queen, Maya Melian. Finally, she fled to Dothonion, a mountainous region in the north of Beleriand, and named her home there, Ered Gurgoroth. It was here she met other spider-like creatures and mated, eventually having many offspring there. This included the famous Shelob, who was featured in The Lord of the Rings and wounded by Samwise Gamgee. Eventually, Ungoliant fled south once again, and was never seen again. There are legends that she was never able to fully satisfy her hunger, and eventually took to devouring herself, which is how she ultimately met her demise, but this is just a legend. It should be noted that there are other accounts of her story, some stating that when Morgoth arrived and asked for assistance with the destruction of the trees of Valinor, she was afraid of what he would do to her for deserting him. That was until he offered her jewels, and enticed her. Further, there are accounts that she never turned on Morgoth after leaving Valinor, and was in fact too afraid of him to do so. Finally, in some versions of his Legendarium, it is confirmed that after the fall of Gondolin, she did devour herself, and that is how her story ended. It's a little complicated, so just keep that information in mind, but no, there isn't a set list of events in this regard. I have summarised this story as effectively as I can, but I hope it has given at least a brief overview of the full story of Ungoliant in Tolkien's Legendarium. I can imagine there are a lot of places and beings that I have talked about that you might not fully understand, but that is often the case with much of Tolkien's work, as it is so large and great that the history is often confusing at times. But just understand that Morgoth was sort of her master, so she was possibly of a sort of similar power level to someone like Sauron. She could perhaps be greater, but it's quite difficult to pin down her exact power levels in this case, and there are accounts that even Morgoth, when she became more powerful, was slightly scared of her, but yet again, it's something you've got to take with a grain of salt. There's a lot of these instances where you would assume Morgoth is incredibly powerful, but then he's afraid of different things, and it's a little bit confusing, but just know that she is quite powerful. Thank you for watching today's video. Please like the video to see more like it, and subscribe to get more videos like this soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Good luck on your adventures.